prove that prove that cp minus cv equal r prove that cp minus cv equal r where cp and cv are the molar specific heat cp and cv are the molar specific heat of an ideal gas at constant pressure and volume at constant pressure and volume prove that cp minus cv equal r where cp and cv are the molar specific heat of an ideal gas at constant pressure and volume we can uh, represent uh, that in the diagram we should consider an ideal gas of initial pressure p and volume v and absolute temperature t and this ideal gas absorbs uh, a heat energy dq in that case pressure increases to uh, p plus dp volume remains constant and absolute temperature increases to t plus dt absolute temperature of the ideal gas increases to t plus dt due to uh, due to absorption of heat energy by the ideal gas dq is the heat energy which is absorbed by the ideal gas at constant volume in this case pressure increases temperature increases but volume remains constant and this process occurs at constant volume here volume remains constant when a heat energy dq is supplied to the ideal gas of pressure p volume v and absolute temperature t on the right hand side we can denote the pressure volume and temperature of an ideal gas as p v and t dq prime is the amount of heat energy supplied to the ideal gas of pressure p volume v and absolute temperature t at constant pressure and in this case state of the gas uh, changes uh, provided pressure remains constant in this case pressure remains constant final pressure is p volume increases to v plus dv and absolute temperature increases to t plus dt t plus dt left hand side volume of the gas remains constant uh, when a heat energy dq is supplied to the ideal gas volume remains constant so volume becomes v to v but temperature increases from t to t plus delta t and here temperature increases by a small amount dt but right hand side pressure remains constant and temperature increases to t plus dt and in this case uh, temperature changes by same amount for both the case that means dt is the change in temperature at constant volume and at constant pressure let p comma v and t be the initial pressure comma volume initial volume and initial absolute temperature of the ideal gas p comma v comma t be the initial pressure comma initial volume and initial temperature of an ideal gas dq and dq prime dq and dq prime are the heat energy are the heat energy supplied to the ideal gas are the heat energies supplied supplied to the ideal gas ideal gas at constant volume at constant volume and at constant pressure respectively at constant pressure respectively or separately dq and dq prime are the heat energies supplied to the ideal gas at constant volume and constant pressure separately to increase the temperature to increase the temperature of the gas by to increase the temperature of the gas by the same amount uh, dt by the same amount dt same amount dt when the ideal gas when the ideal gas is heated at constant volume when the ideal gas is heated at constant volume through a small range of temperature dt through a small range of temperature dt comma when the ideal gas is heated at constant volume through a small range of temperature dt the heat energy supplied heat energy supplied to the gas is given by dq equal du plus dw 
dq equal du plus dw heat absorbed is sum of increase in internal energy and work done using first law of thermodynamics we have assumed dq as equal du plus dw or comma dq equal ncv dt plus p dv dq equal ncv dt plus p dv where the change in internal energy of the ideal gas the change in internal energy of the ideal gas is du which is ncv dt ncv dt and work done dw is equal p into dv product of pressure and change in volume p into dv or comma dq equal ncv dt plus zero as the volume of the ideal gas remains constant change in volume of the gas will be dv will be dv which will be equal to zero as the change in volume is dv uh, is dv equal zero at constant volume or comma dq equal in cv dt dq equal in cv dt dq equal in cv dt which is equation one which is uh, the equation one dq equal in cv dt dq equal in cv dt which is the heat energy supplied heat energy supplied to the ideal gas of n mole at constant pressure uh, at constant volume heat is supplied to the gas at constant volume to increase the temperature through to increase the temperature through a small range of a small range of dt dq equal ncv dt which is a heat supplied to the gas at constant volume to increase the temperature through a small range of dt where cv capital cv is the molar specific heat of the ideal gas at constant volume cv is the uh, molar specific heat of the gas at constant volume dq equal finally we get dq equal ncv dt here dq is the amount of heat energy supplied to the ideal gas volume remains constant but temperature of the ideal gas increases from t to t plus delta t when the ideal gas is heated at constant pressure through the same range of temperature through the same range of temperature dt temperature of dt the heat energy the heat energy supplied to the ideal gas supplied to the gas will be supplied to the gas will be dq prime equal d u prime plus d w prime using first law of thermodynamics where d u prime is the change in internal energy of the ideal gas d u prime is the change in internal energy of the ideal gas at constant pressure and dw prime is the work done dw prime is the work done by the ideal gas work done by the ideal gas at constant pressure at constant pressure as the rise in temperature as the rise in temperature of the ideal gas as the rise in temperature of the gas in the two cases of the gas in the two cases is the same that is uh, uh, dt as the rise in temperature of the gas in the two cases is the same that is dt the increase in internal energy the increase in internal energy must be same the increase in internal energy must be same in the two cases must be same in the two cases therefore du prime equal du therefore du prime equal ncv dt therefore dq prime equal du prime plus dw prime equal du plus pdv equal ncv dt plus pdv dq prime equal ncv dt plus pdv since molar specific heat since molar specific heat of the gas molar specific heat of the gas at constant pressure is given by cp equal 1 by n dq by dt 
dq prime by dt so we can say dq uh, that dq prime will be ncp dt equal ncp dt plus pdv we get ncp dt equal ncp dt plus pdv or comma n under bracket cp minus cb dt equal pdv n under bracket cp minus cb into dt equal pdv which is equation 2 which is equation 2 according to standard gas equation according to standard gas equation we can write pv equal nrt pv equal nrt differentiating both sides we get d of pv equal d of nrt or comma p vdp plus pdv equal nr dt or comma v into 0 plus pdv equal nr dt where at constant pressure dp equal 0 where change in pressure dp equal 0 at constant pressure of uh, the ideal gas therefore pdv equal nr dt pdv equal nr dt which is equation 3 which is equation 3 using equation using equation 3 in equation 2 using equation 3 in equation 2 we get n bracket open cp minus cv into dt equal n r uh, equal pdv it was pdv now putting the expression of pdv you get n cp minus cv into dt equal n r dt therefore cp minus cv equal r therefore cp minus cv equal R. Hence, uh, this equation is proved. Cp minus Cv equal R, that is the difference of molar specific heat of an ideal gas at constant pressure and volume is equal to the universal gas constant. So, uh, additional information Cp minus Cv equal R for 1 mole of gas, then Cp minus Cv equal what for n mole of gas? Cp minus Cv equal R for n mole of gas. And that is true. Cp minus Cv equal R for n mole of gas. Again, Cp minus Cv equal R for n mole of the ideal gas.